Hi, this is Paula from CHE. I recently spoke with a former tourism employee who lost her job because of the pandemic. The motel where Lorraine Muse worked has closed for this season. According to Destination Cape Breton, about 4% of tourism businesses in the island won't be opening this year. But those who will open said they're likely to have their staff reduced by 35 to 40% compared to a normal summer. Here's what Lorraine told me about her experience. This, this year they're just not opening up because of this epidemic of COVID-19. And it's very hard for me to get a job around here where there's no place to be hired because of this epidemic. There is a couple places that I put my name in, but I haven't got word from them. So I don't know if I have a job going to be for the summer and in the fall and I won't have no no po no unemployment. We call it pogi, but um, it's really unemployment. Muse said that as soon as her current employment insurance runs out, she will be applying to the Canada Emergency Response Benefit, which has recently been extended by eight weeks. That still means that like other tourism employees who are falling through the cracks, she won't be able to collect enough hours for EI in the winter time. Muse tells me she's dreading a winter without income. I may have to leave my house and go to my sister in Pleasant Bay. But I don't want to do that because I want to stay in my own home. So the only way is the government's going to have to have to do something for people to be able to stay in their own homes. Terry Smith from Destination Cape Breton says that this gap affecting seasonal workers is a concern that government officials are well aware of. What we have heard is that um, something may be done. We know it's a concern that's been raised uh, with our MPs and, um, and that they have brought forward as well. So, um, so we expect something will be done to help workers um, who might not be able to get enough insurable earnings so that they can get EI over the next winter. But, uh, but nothing has been announced, so we're, we're still, uh, still pushing for something. Our local MP, Mike Kellaway, says that his office has been advocating for an EI extension. Well, we've been, and I stress as an office, what recommendations we've put forward to the cabinet is to look at something similar to what we did with the fishers in, in terms of to be able to look at last year's earnings as opposed to this year's earnings. Because I think it's going to be a, 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 it's going to be a summer that is unlike any other summer in terms of it's not going to be like last year's summer. So, so we've been pushing that uh, potential solution at the table, but you better believe, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a conversation in caucus that's ongoing all the time. And it's one that cabinet is keenly aware of. And, and I think as we move into the summer season and we move out of the summer season, I think you'll see a couple of things. Uh, at least that's what we're pushing. I, the things that I think you'll see is movement on the seasonal workers situation in terms of EI. I think you'll see the Canada wage subsidy, uh, which is uh, slated to close or to end August 28th. I think you'll see that uh, evolve. Many tourism workers are still waiting for answers as the sector prepares to open this year's season this July. You can write to us at chne.television at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.